Beloved Masters, the refined frequencies of the New Age are having a profound effect on how you view yourselves. As you learn to take back your power, set boundaries, and reclaim a sense of self-worth, it will also have an intense effect in your relationships with others, especially romantic relationships. In the past, you have had many unresolved issues that created what could be called imbalanced or vulnerable blemishes in your emotional body and chakra system, especially chakras 1 through 4. You had many unresolved issues within you in the form of guilt, fear, anger, a sense of abandonment, and of being unlovable. All of these thought forms have a vibrational frequency, and you radiated those frequencies of unworthiness out into the world. See these energies radiating forth in front of you and all around you in an infinity sign, whereby they are picked up by those who are resonating to the same frequency levels, and thus are drawn into your life in one way or another. Unconsciously, you attracted to you those who were also coming from a viewpoint of neediness. You hoped they could fix everything for you and make you happy, but in reality, all this kind of relationship creates is more friction through feelings of lack and an inner sense of unworthiness. In the past, most relationships were based on physical attraction, which usually fades rather quickly if there is not more depth to the attraction. There were other disempowering components as well such as dependency, a desire for security or an attempt to find validation of self-worth outside oneself. Unresolved issues and problems are magnified when someone comes into your life that mirrors these negative situations back to you. These issues and problems invariably create friction, which is not necessarily a bad thing if you recognize them, are willing to acknowledge them, and you agree to make a concerted effort to change them for the better. The emphasis now is on returning to wholeness within yourself through taking personal responsibility for your actions, and through building self-esteem, and of a sense of worthiness via your solar heart center in cooperation with your soul self and higher self. Truth and integrity will be the foundation of any relationship of the future. First you must accept who you are at the present time as you strive to become the very best person you can possibly be through self-examination of your attitudes, beliefs, habits, and your weaknesses. You will learn that the foundation of a lasting relationship with others is to first have a love affair with yourself, whereby you strive to become more loving and lovable. Eventually, you realize that you are love personified, and you do not need anyone else to validate that truth for you because, deep within, you have claimed it. You tap into your sacred heart and that wellspring of unconditional love within your own divine God spark, and you remember that there is a never-ending supply of love slash light available to you through your light connection with Source. That is your divine heritage, dear hearts. Why not claim it? It takes a strong, mutual commitment, without blame, judgment or ego-driven accusations to work out personal differences and to arrive at mutually beneficial conclusions that are fair to all parties involved. In a growing, evolving relationship, no longer will there be an emphasis on who is right or who is wrong, but on compromise, and a desire to meet the needs of everyone involved in the most equitable way. No area of your life can remain stagnant, especially for those of you who are dedicated to your spiritual path and soul evolution. It is not always possible for those in a relationship to grow or evolve at the same pace. However, it is possible to not feel threatened, to remain in a supporting role, and to allow those around you to develop at their own pace if you have established a sacred union within yourself. This sacred union is returning to balance and harmony within your physical, mental, emotional and spiritual bodies, as well as reclaiming the attributes and virtues of your masculine and feminine natures. The strictly defined roles of males and females are gradually being altered, whereby a blending of sexually defined roles is becoming more the norm. Once more, the powerful radiance of the goddess is being showered down upon the earth and humanity. The status of women is rapidly changing, and masculine-slash-feminine equality will become the norm when both men and women claim their intrinsic masculine-slash-feminine natures. The battle of the sexes has its origins within for humanity has struggled for eons to reunite the god and goddess within. Women are learning to reclaim their power, however, they know they must use this gift with love and compassion as an overlay. Those in the male body are gradually learning to allow the unconditional love of the goddess to light the fire of compassion and gentleness within. 
they are learning that there is strength in creativity, intuition, and a willingness to allow oneself to be gentle and open-hearted. As you strive for spiritual maturity, many facets of your life will change. There will be a strong desire to support one another, along with an intense yearning to grow and expand, even if at times your paths may take different directions. You will claim the truth that you are bonded together at a soul level, and you can never truly be separated. True sexual union is and can be an incredible spiritual experience, not just the joining of two bodies. Divine sexuality calls for a total opening of the heart, a blending of the mental, emotional and physical facets of your being, which results in a profound, lasting experience. This type of union can result in a true sense of unity if you are in harmony at a deep soul level, one with another. You must remove etheric barriers or filters you have placed around your heart and emotions if you are to be able to receive and radiate unconditional love. You must confront your fears about losing those you love, and of disappointments and betrayals of the past, which often manifest as a fear of intimacy or of making a commitment to another. As you learn to believe in and trust yourself, you will develop a fundamental trust in others, and others will place their faith and trust in you, for trust begets trust. It is not appropriate to sacrifice your dreams and desires for another or for the people in your life to make sacrifices for you. There must be a common goal with everyone involved participating in an agreed-upon manner sharing the load and reaping the rewards. Each of you belongs to a huge, complex soul family, and you have surely played many diverse roles with each other down through the ages. The people you are involved with in this lifetime, or who come into your life so you can learn the lessons of life are a part of a greater ongoing cosmic drama. When you judge another, you need to be aware that, in truth, you are only judging yourself. You have played all the parts during your journey throughout this universe, lovers, friends, mother, father, sister, brother, son, and daughter. You are integrating all the attributes of the multiple parts you have played, the strength and wisdom of a father, the gentle nurturing and loving care of a mother the passion, commitment and companionship of a lover, the steadfast loyalty of a friend, and the joyful, light-hearted interactions between a sister, brother, son or daughter. It is the time of reuniting, of coming together, the beginning of returning to oneness. You can no longer hide behind a cloak of fear or isolation, beloveds. It is time to make a conscious commitment, first to yourself and to your God self and then to those around you with whom you are destined to experience the dance of new life. You must make a conscious, detailed agreement within yourself about what you desire and expect from those around you, and then you must be open to discussing your desires and expectations with all the people with whom you interact. In the future, as relationships unfold, deeper and deeper levels of understanding and commitment will blossom forth, for everyone will be willing to speak from the heart with spirit as their guide rather than the ego. As many of you know, I have been honored to give many of you personal galactic readings over the years. It has been my great pleasure, and I must state that it has also been a blessing and a gift from my beloved messenger, for it has taken up much of her time and energy to bring forth these messages to you. During these times of great change and of great opportunities, I am sending an open galactic reading to you all so that you may know how very special you are and the wondrous gifts that await you. Dearly beloved, it is wondrous to watch as you remember and bring forth all the gifts and wisdom you have stored within your brain structure. You have such vast experience to draw on, dear one, not only from your sojourns in the higher realms, but from your earthly experiences, as well. It is time for you to remember that the earth is not your home. You have soared throughout this universe, and you have always eagerly stepped forward to volunteer for a new assignment, no matter how difficult. Your earthly experiences have been a wondrous variety of co-creative endeavors, and you have made slow but steady progress toward your true identity as a being of light. It is time for you to realize that you are much more than just the identity you chose in this lifetime. You and those like you are being given an opportunity to integrate the multiple facets of yourselves, and by doing so, you will begin to see how truly powerful and wise you are. All of your trials, tests and seeming failures have made you the shining, beautiful spirit slash human being you are today. When you teach, you teach from experience, 
and you will show by your example how any obstacles can be overcome that others, like you, can triumph over any adversity. This is the time when your soul has reached the furthest most point of its journey of separation, and it is now ready to begin the journey of reunion and integration once more. Your soul has gradually been infused with a divine discontent, which slowly filters into your conscious mind and emotions, and you begin to turn inward in order to tame the ego and reconnect with the soul, your oversoul, and the multiple facets of your higher self. You now have the potential to connect with the many facets of your soul family, your higher self, your many oversouls, and ultimately, your God Seed Adam, I Am Presence. At a cosmic level, the Supreme Creator is now sending down the radiance of itself via the Great Central Suns. This energy is being filtered down upon Earth in great bursts of living flame of life via the Sun of your solar system. Your greatest desire for this lifetime has been to integrate the many facets of your beingness, however, first, they must be healed and harmonized so that they can be filled with light. In this way, you will not have to experience the discomfort, the challenges or the karmic interactions of the third slash fourth dimensional experience, for that is the old way. As you allow your divine self to overlight and guide you, more and more inspired thought will come to you. There are many ways to allow spirit to manifest through you, just allow it to happen naturally, dear one. What brings you joy and satisfaction? How do you wish to serve? There are many ways and you have many talents, more than you will acknowledge, but the choice is yours. Just remember it should bring you joy and make your heart sing as you offer others the gifts that have been given you. Your reward will be the light in their eyes, and the joy they express as they, too, allow the integration of spirit to create miracles in their lives. It is time to let go of the painful past. It is time to claim your mastery, to create your own version of paradise, and then to teach others to do the same. Help those who come to you to heal their emotional wounds and their physical bodies, and then they will be ready to listen to the nudgings of spirit. We all are in the times of great change that have been foretold for thousands of years. You carry within the refined vibrational frequencies of the future, and you can make a difference. Draw the love slash light of creation from your divine self. Use what you need to bring yourself into harmony and vibrant health, and then allow your gentle heart to radiate the beautiful glow of loving energy to others. Focus on what is right in your world, look for the best in those around you, and that is what you will reinforce and help to create. You can change the world around you, one thought at a time. You have wonderful angelic guides just waiting to assist you. Call on them and together you can create miracles to share with others. Allow us to assist you in fulfilling your mission and to nurture you with our love. I am Archangel Michael.